Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user said, Hey, what's it like to create a Bitmoji in Tinkercad? I've got a strategy, so let's get cracking. So the first step is to find a Bitmoji you want to use. I went through all my Bitmojis, and I found one that said hi, and I clicked on it, and I saved that image. Make sure you put it somewhere you can find it. I've got a silly folder called clip art where I store all my stuff and you can see there is the high image so I'm gonna hit cancel once you're done with that you need to go to pixeler and when you visit pixeler.x you want to open an image and you want to find that file so see how this had the word high I don't want that so I'm gonna just create a new file with that in there and I'm gonna use cut switch to the draw cutout and I'm just gonna cut out where that high is all you do is scribble around it the better you scribble the better it cuts anything that you see left just give it another shot to make sure you cleaned up that area I like that so then you can simply go to save PNG and I'm gonna call this test 3a because I've already did it once and I'm gonna download it to that same 3d modeling and then I'm gonna put it in the clip art folder and this will be test 3a PNG so with that file created I'm gonna close it we're gonna to go to another awesome place called picksvg.com. you'll be able to find a link to this in the description if you're looking for it what you do is you upload a picture so if we go over here to test 3a you can see that's where I cut off the words and we open it it takes that design and instantly creates a SVG where it's just the lines you can pick which one you want. I'm gonna pick this one without the extra lines in the shirt. You can go through all of them and explore. When you're done, just hit download SVG. Same location, this is gonna be called Bitmoji Me, and it's gonna be number three, cause I have been practicing. All right, so now if we go to Tinkercad, I'm gonna create a brand new design. And when you hit new design, we are gonna import what we just built. So if you choose a file, here's Bitmoji 3, and we are going to choose just the art. So if you watch this little picture, the art is a smaller area. And then I don't want one that's 200. I want to go 60 or 60 millimeters, which would be 6 centimeters, which is plenty large. And this instantly brings in the Bitmoji Me with all the details. Just because I want it skinny, I'm going to choose size 2 millimeters. And now I'm going to show you the last bit of trickeration so that we can get the background. The tool we're going to use for the backgrounds is Inkscape. It is a free download and it's a super powerful tool once you learn how to use it. We're going to do File Open and we're going to open Bitmoji 3 or Bitmoji Me 3. I'm going to make it full screen and then we only want the outline. So the first thing we're going to do is click on it and we're going to ungroup. And what this did was allowed me to get to these little pieces like the eyes and stuff. And we can simply delete them. We're going to delete anything we can from the middle. Let's see if that little, oops, obviously there's a hair piece we're going to get rid of. Control Z, Control Z. Let's delete the hair pieces in there. I thought maybe there'd be an arm piece I could delete. No. So now we're going to go back to this one and we're going to do path and we're going to do break apart. Now this breaks it into several pieces and watch this. If we grab them, there's one that has the outside and the lines and then there's one that has the inside. We're going to delete all these inside pieces and we're going to take this outside one minus those fingers and turn it into the one we really want. If you right click on the color red and say set stroke, it puts a thin red line around it. If you left click on the X, it gets rid of it and all you can see is that thin red line, which is the outline we want for our Bitmoji. The only thing is we don't want this shirt to have these pieces up here, so here's how you fix it. These are called nodes and if you drag and select, those nodes are all on the inside and we can just hit delete and get rid of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete all the nodes except these bottom two so then we can connect that back straight. And I'm just carefully grabbing and selecting and deleting 
you can do it one at a time. Once you get good at this, it can go pretty quick. And then these handles allow you to straighten them out. And friends, just like that, we have got the outline of our Bitmoji. File Save As, and we're going to call this 3A. Let's go back to Tinkercad real quick. Import, choose a file, find that 3A. Once again, we only want the art. Now you can't see much because that line is so thin. And then we do want to remember that we wanted that 60 for the size. And boom, here comes our background for our Bitmoji. I'm going to make this one millimeter thick. I'm going to set the work plane for the top of that spot. Click on the other piece and hit D to drop it to that height. And we, my friends, have just made Bitmoji Me. I'm not going to say they're the easiest steps in the world, but they do work pretty darn nifty. And of course, if I wanted to make this into a Bitmoji keychain, I'm going to shift squish, make that size five. And let's find a spot to put it. Make sure we push it through. And bam. Almost instant Bitmoji keychain of HL Mod Tech. Let's set that work plane back down to the ground. And friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video by me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.